It's like a flyover celebration. There's like a convoy of them. I'll show you the others here in just a sec. They're all behind them. There's one. Actually, there's two. One, two, and the other guy up here. He's a silhouette, an outline of one, and these ones are the actual cloud itself. You see the difference? These ones, the actual cloud takes the shape. That one's a silhouette, like an outline. <clears throat> so then we go around here. And we go over the hill, or up on the hill, maybe up on the roof. See one foreman below, another silhouette, like right here. And a dorsal fin on the top one, it looks like a dolphin. Come on, you know it does. Can't see them as well when you zoom out, but yeah, there's another one foreman on the bottom. And we got copters going over. Oh, it's just the news, or uh, the flight for life. Yeah, you see this one forming on the bottom here? They're hauling ass. I literally had to chase them up the hill. I'll turn around and show you where I just came from. They are seriously moving and there's no wind out here. My house, down the hill and over. I came up through my neighbor's yard, we're clear over there. There's no way I could see them at this point from my house. I'm literally having to chase the cloud dragons. You can see how close they are by how much they move as I cross the road. You can use the trees as reference point to see how close they are. Those aren't in the distance very far, or I wouldn't be able to go clear from the front of the one on the bottom, like that. Using trigonometry, you could like measure these trees and the point where I'm standing and measure exactly how far those are. They aren't far. Or you wouldn't see that much movement in them. You see what I'm saying? And I was literally just filming them from on my house. And they quickly moved up the hill, up and around the corner to where I had to chase them. But I went in my house for like two seconds to grab a drink out of the cooler. I jumped off the roof. Went in the house, grabbed a drink out of the fridge, came out and had to walk clear up here. And now they're clear down there at the end of the road. Where if I wanted to chase them and be able to vis uh, view them a little longer, I'm going to have to go to the end of the road, grab my drink that's clear back over here. Because we started clear back over there, a block over there. I'm going to chase the cloud dragon, see how fast they're moving. Because there's no wind out here. Absolutely dead air. <clears throat> and those things are moving. Like seriously, I don't think I've ever recognized how much, how fast they're moving or how close they are, as well as I'm recognizing it right now.
as I do the cross the road thing and they haul ass away from my house. And you don't hardly see them when you zoom back for whatever reason. Look at the fins growing on the one on top. Like flower petals or something as the outline. Like a jellyfish on the top one. Right there, jellyfish touching the butt of a jellyfish. If there's waters above and waters below, and we are in something like the star in a jar, where sonic frequencies create a bubble within the liquid, suspended in the liquid, and a light begins to shine. It's called star in a jar. Google it on YouTube. And with these sonic frequencies entering into this liquid uh, cylinder, cylinder filled with liquid, a light begins to emit by a a molecule collapsing on itself and then reforming and collapsing and reforming and it's essentially a small star in a jar and that's essentially what you are because in the beginning was the word and that's that sonic frequency and so if we're suspended in liquid waters above waters below it would make sense that you would see the whole kingdom of heaven looking something like what you see in the waters below see what i'm saying and on The Simpsons, when Homer hit a home run and he cracked open the dome, in came a bunch of fish. And on The Simpsons, the aliens are the octopus with those jars on their heads. And in real world, octopus are aliens. They say they don't know where their DNA came from. They, they can't trace their mitochondrial DNA back to whoever their ancestors are. So these clouds, this cloud formation that's uh, very close, watch as I move up on this tree, the one on the bottom disappears. That's how close I am. You can see the distance reference between the, new, the two. It'll reappear now because I come across the street and there it reappears. So you can tell I'm not far from this thing based on the how much uh, distance it moves as I come this way. So as I was saying, that thing up top, it keeps shape shifting, looking like, you know, every uh, sea creature under the sea on the outline of it. Like, what are we chasing here? I'm gonna stop and hold the camera still as soon as we hit a spot where I can see good. Like right here. Here we go. Yep, right here. What kind of sea? It's a sea lion. See the general outline of the thing comes like this and goes like that and keeps the edges keep changing and it's got this thick thing down here. Uh, Donnie Daytona, here's, here's some more fins forming back here. Donnie Daytona calls it stamping. Like if your dog, if you uh, put talcum powder on the floor and your dog walked through it, it would leave little, uh, little dog prints, dog footprints in the talcum powder. And he calls it stamping when he sees the shapes appear and disappear. Like there's a stamp appearing in the, in the, in the talcum powder. And that lady probably thought I was straight cray cray. But she just stopped, got straight educated. She's probably like, I was wondering the same thing. Oh my gosh, that guy's looking and talking about it too. There's a lot of people that probably look and talk about or think about it and maybe talk privately about it with people they know. But they don't dare say anything at work or online because they don't want to sound crazy. Meow? Hi. We got a kitty. Hi. Hi. Kitty knows I'm not crazy, huh? Hi. Meow. Now I got hair all over my camera. What do you think of them, kitty? They're cray cray, huh? 
cray cray. This cat's just rubbing all over me. Back and forth, back and forth. Do you need some loving? You love me long time. Dude, she's all bumping up against me, jiggling the camera and stuff. We got dragonflies. What do you think of the dragonflies? Hmm? What do you think of the dragonflies? You chasing them? So yeah, there's actually two here. There's this one and this one. This elongated one, and then more of a spherical shape one, I guess. And those were apparent when I first started filming over my house. Uh, there was kind of those two general shapes. And then the larger outline of the fish and these fins keep holding solid for the last few minutes as this cat keeps bumping up against me. She just wants camera time, huh? Is that what it is? Okay, we're, we're filming important stuff here though, cat, for real. I think I'm gonna have to get up and follow this thing a little further. But I like holding still here and watching those fins right there. Because they've been holding ever since I pointed them out right at first when they kind of grew there. And what are these lines? A little straight line and an angle there almost. Oops. And a dragonfly doing acrobatics for us and the cat's loving on me. And it's all good, huh kitty? Huh kitty? You need a home? You got a good home? You need loving, that's for sure. Ain't no one giving you no loving. For real. She got dandruff and she rubbing all over me. You're all dandruffy cat. You need to go get some head and shoulders or something. And I need to get